Okay guys, I'm really excited tonight because it's day three of the incubation process. So that means that this is the first time um, that we should be able to see some development. So you don't see a whole lot on day three, but it is good to check just to make sure that something's happening and that the egg is actually fertilized and that it's alive. So we should be able to see some uh, veins, maybe even like a little dot where the brain has started, which is really cool. Um, so there's a lot of like um, excitement and nervousness in this part because I kind of do feel like a mother, like, am I doing this right? Like, I don't want to kill them. I'm doing my best over here. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a look through all of them. And as I do, I'll just set them in the egg carton here, uh, just so that I keep track. And um, after that as well, I'm going to go ahead and um, add in the quail eggs this evening because they only take 18 days. So those are all, they should be fertilized quail eggs. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, I'll just have the incubator open for a while. It's okay um, if it does lose some heat tonight. It can go actually, I think the longest, like 18 hours, which is not good, but it's okay if we do open it. Um, most times if you don't have an egg rotator, you're opening it like every hour anyway, and I don't have to rotate, so it's always closed. So we'll open it. We'll, ch we'll do our ultrasound, our three-day ultrasound on all the eggs um, and see that they're growing and then we'll put everybody back in and i'm just hoping to god that the egg rotator holes are not too big for the quail eggs because the quail eggs are so small i'm scared that they might fall through so let's get started i'm so scared <laughs> Definitely something in there, but it also could just be yolk. I don't see any spider veins in there. I don't know if you guys can see anything in camera. You can obviously see there's something there. That could just be yolk. I don't see anything promising there that's I don't know can't tell we'll just have to compare as we go right this looks the same to me You can see at the top. Like, I just... That don't look like much to me, but I don't know. Okay, you know what? This looks like something because you only see it on one side, right there. I don't see veins necessarily. I don't know, I think day three is hard to tell. They all look quite the same. see veins on any of them. That just looks completely orange.
Bro, I don't know what's going on here. I hope that the next day's ultrasound will show more because I just feel like I'm looking at a yolk. This don't look like anything to me. I'm so scared. I don't feel like I'm seeing what I want to see. This doesn't look like anything. I don't even see, like I, it's like I can't even see through that egg, which is weird. That egg's not showing anything. It's just showing orange. You can't see if there's even a yolk in it. Maybe that's a good sign. Maybe that's one that will hatch. <laughs> I don't know. We're just lost at this point, okay? You're learning with me. can't see anything at all through this egg. I'm starting to wonder if that's a good thing. <laughs> Maybe only two of them are fertile. Who knows? We'll find out in 18 days. Yeah, like why are a few of them looking like that? Oh, maybe because I was holding them the other way. Did that just move or was that just me? I can't imagine it would move anyway. Bro, I don't know what's going on over here. I don't know if I see anything. I think it's too early. Like they say the first time is three days, but we ain't seeing nothing. Gently spin you around. You seen anything? I ain't. No, I don't know. Okay. Oh, I have a good idea. Just one second. At the end, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna candle an egg in my fridge that's not fertilized and see if it looks any different than these guys that have been incubated for three days because that's the only thing that's gonna tell me, I think. I just don't get the, you're gonna see the veins. Like there's no veins here. There's no veins, I, I don't know. Last one. This one's so speckly, it looks strange. Once again, it just looks like the yolk is at the top. Can't even see through. A little quail egg. I just wanted to see because it hasn't been inky. You can't see nothing. Never mind. Okay. So let's see here. Good news the quail eggs fit, so I'm going to put them in quickly and then I will check the egg in the fridge.
gonna put these guys back in first. Let me get the egg out of the fridge. Okay, so I know for sure this egg was not fertilized. It's out of my hen, um, Vanilla, and she wasn't in with a rooster. You know what? It was in the fridge, but like, I don't think that would make too much of a difference. I don't see anything in here. I don't even see like where the yolk would be. So I think that there is development in the other eggs. You know what I mean? Like it's just clear looking, but you don't see that like definite blob of something. I'm just saying, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't feel like any of us know. I don't think you guys know. I don't know, but we'll keep checking. And uh, there's definitely something different in those eggs. Now this one could be fertilized, but there would be no um, development in it because it was just laid today. So this was um, from basil. You ain't seeing nothing in that. You know what? That's good news. That means that we do have some babies developing, I would say. Because these still have like, yolks in them. You don't see anything. You don't see nothing in that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I think we have babies developing. But remember, there was a couple that looked just like this. So those were probably the ones that weren't fertile. And I would say the ones that we saw that had like a blob in them is the veins and like the brain and everything developing. Guys, I'm so excited. There's babies in some of those eggs. Oh my goodness. I don't know, reality's finally setting in. I think I'm so pumped. Anyways, I'm probably way more excited than most people would be for that, but like, I think I'm obsessed with stuff like this. So like, follow along, keep following along. I'll keep doing little like, uh, um, <laughs> ultrasound videos. Bye.